Hi! This week we're going to be looking at op art. Op is short for optical, like optical illusions. It's a lot of fun. We're going to be using different lines and shapes and colors to create our very cool op art. I can't wait to see what you make. Op art is created by artists who are trying to create optical illusions. That's why it's called op art. In order to do this, they use a variety of lines, shapes, colors, values, and texture. These are the elements of art. We're going to create our own op art today, focusing on using lines, and we'll also add color for emphasis. Op art is frequently done in black and white to give the viewer a sense of movement when looking at the art. Write your name and class code. We're going to create our op art with a little bit of emphasis. So your first step is to draw some type of line, any line, and then double it. So I'm just repeating that same line. Then you're going to use your markers or crayons, whatever you have, and color that in. When you're coloring, color in the order of the rainbow. So you can start with any color, but then make sure you move in order of the rainbow or color wheel. Remember also use good craftsmanship, so stay inside the lines and fill in all the peekaboos. Now you want to choose another type of line. Make sure it's kind of a curved line. We don't want to use straight lines or you won't get the same optical illusion. So I just jumped over my color emphasis and then when you're adding these just match that line again you can be really close to the first line or further away so I started off kinda close got further away on my second one I got really far away so you wanna go have, you wanna have some variety when you're adding these lines don't make them all evenly spaced the more unusual the spacing the better the optical illusion will be Continue this process until you have filled the entire page with lines. The next step is to add lines that go across horizontally. So we're again going from one side all the way over to the other. These will create the little squares, kind of squares, that we'll be coloring in. Notice I'm adding a slight curve to my line that's going to give it more of an illusion than a perfectly straight line would do. Once you finish drawing on your all your lines you're going to begin coloring with a black to create a checkerboard pattern. So notice how I started in the middle of my paper I left the first square in that line white colored the next one black and then white black white black white all the way down to the bottom. When I go to fill in the next column, notice how I don't color the square that had a black one next to it. I color the square that has a white one next to it. That way my black squares are only touching corners. We're going to fill this whole paper with our checkerboard pattern and that is what's going to help to create the illusion. Remember to use good craftsmanship when working on your picture. Stay inside the lines and fill in all the peekaboos. This is extra important on our optical illusion art, our op art. If you get out of the lines and don't fill in the peekaboos, it might not have the same cool effect that you were hoping for. Once you've finished with your art, take a picture of it and click the link in the description below to turn it in to the Google Doc. 